Hey everybody, it's me, I'm back, and welcome to my first tutorial. Today, we'll be lighting you on fire. D so basically, we're doing a human torch transformation effect. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm gonna stop waiting and let's just get right to it, okay? Alrighty then, now that we're in hit film, first thing you're gonna wanna do is make your your video a composite shot oh yeah just to let you guys know for some reason um the bars that show up once like when you want to search for an effect or something throughout my video for some reason it didn't show up in the recording i don't know why but um i, I would just be saying it out loud and how it should be, how it should look for you, so that that way you shouldn't have much of a problem doing this, if you are doing it. So, yeah. Okay, so after you made your video a composite shot, what you want to do is make a plain layer. Okay, so after you've made your plain layer, uh, go to effects and type in fractal noise. And see in fractal noise, go to present and click in solar. And see it has this fiery kind of sun look. You get what I mean. Alright, so after you've moved your plain layer to where you want your effect to start, go to mask, and with the mask tool, you wanna do a circle around your figure. Well, you know, it doesn't have to be a circle, but that's how I do it. And with the mask, go to shapes, and with the feather length, uh, put 13%. Okay, so now you can see that we have like a little fiery circle around our character actor. And we have the, our mask. So this is where the hard part comes in. Well, you don't have to do this, but this is how I do it. And, um, uh, so what I do, I cut frames. So in each frame, I could edit the mask however, however I want it. So that's what I'm going to do now. And uh, you'll see the process, but this is basically the hard part. The rest of it, it's it's very easy. Okay, so after you've done the hardest part of this effect, you'll get um you'll see that you get a decent uh solar-ish sun temperature look to your character. And um also for each of them, uh I, I recommend changing the seed, the seed of each effect, or else it's gonna look like your character is ju jumping from a picture which will not look good so change the seed so it looks like it's actually fire or solar energy stuff so yeah now on to the actual fire the fire that i got was from production crate it's free and all you have to do with this after you got your fire from production crate um, right click set the blend to add go to the effects put in hue colorize and change the color to orange after you've done that also uh, lower the lightness the slash brightness to to one because after you put in the color it's gonna be very bright well not super bright it's just gonna light up the whole screen and we don't want that so 
uh, all you have to do is that. Put it in and one. After that, after you've done all that, all you have to do is scale it up to match the the scale of the solar effect that you already put in with the mask. A problem I came across while doing this effect the first time was that it looked way too bright. So the way I solved it is just to lower the opacity on the solar mask effect that we did in the very beginning. So depending how you want it, if you want it to be very bright, you can just leave it how it is. If you don't, then just lower the opacity on the mask solar effect. And so after you've done all that, with a little bit of sound editing, after, you'll get some like this. And so yeah, that's how you do a human torch effect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, expect more tutorials coming your way next week. Um, next tutorial should be a uh, blood effects. Um, that'll be fun. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. Hope you learned something. And have a great day.